problems. Well, we are starting off with low, mid and high level clouds right now. Temperatures pretty mild. It's exactly what we're used to for this time of morning. 57 right now in downtown San Francisco and 58 currently in Livermore. So I do want to talk about satellite and radar. The bigger picture, you can see this wider view of the state and we do have some green on the screen indicating where we're seeing some moisture. So that indicates some light to moderate rain. And again, this is in Southern California. Now some of this could transport up to the Bay Area. We could see some scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms by later on tonight. But I have been writing through the models and frankly doesn't look too likely. Now I have an umbrella in the back of my car just in case, but I really don't think we're going to need it. So expect just some high clouds and cooler temperatures associated with this system. Uh, looks like we could see some showers as far south as Monterey County and as far south as uh, the eastern Sierra. But I really don't think we're going to see any raindrops here in the Bay Area, but just expect cooler weather and high clouds for the next couple of days. Now, Futurecast 4 tracking the temperatures for you, and you'll notice 60s, that slice of green on your screen by 12 p.m. today, 70s for the East Bay shoreline and the peninsula, 80s for the inland East Bay spots. And as we put the clock into motion, you'll notice the red sticks well out of our area, so don't bank on any 90s. An increase in cloud cover, mild conditions, temperatures back in the 60s by 8 p.m. tonight. And I do want to break down your afternoon highs starting with the South Bay, so it's going to be pretty pleasant, pretty mild, pretty comfortable. Evergreen 85, 81 in Santa Clara. Again, mostly sunny skies in the East Bay with Pittsburgh at 88 degrees. 84 for Fairfield, those 70s expected in Vallejo. Downtown San Francisco, about 10 degrees cooler at 63 degrees and 77 your high in Napa. So your seven day around the Bay forecast shows you similar conditions into tomorrow. Not much change in the numbers, but by Wednesday, it looks like we'll see a little bit of a bump. Thursday, we are back in the 90s for the warmest inland spots, and we will continue with that summer like pattern as we transition into the weekend.